ya Kamila Andini bersama Dayu Ali dan juga tim kita semua dari Bumi Bajra yeah. untuk The ya kita tahun lalu mulainya sekitar Maret kita udah mulai bicarain dari Februari ya sebenarnya yeah, yeah. tapi mulai latihan Maret sebelum juga ke Melbourne aku ya buat Asia Topa mm-hmm. gitu jadi memang awalnya um, abis film ada uh, di, ditanya sebenarnya ditantang sebenarnya jawab sama Jala mungkin nggak kamu kepikiran nggak untuk membuat film ini jadi pertunjukan gitu tapi waktu itu ya kenapa enggak karena sebenarnya nih anak-anak yang main semua Dayu Mbak Ayu Gehan semuanya justru Um, lahir di panggung, performer gitu jadi kalau kemarin di film mereka semua yang masuk ke dunia saya sekarang menarik banget ya, tertarik banget untuk ter- untuk kebalikannya gitu saya yang masuk ke dunia mereka terus waktu itu Dayu gimana tuh pas waktu di, dikasih tahu sama aku? ya udah kan itu kita lagi latihan-latihan kan, ingat kan? habis ya. itu terus dininya nelpon malamnya Dayu, ada oleh-oleh pilihan bentar dulu, bisa tak umumin iya <laughs> gak? <laughs> Memang dari dulu juga kita punya rencana untuk bikin, untuk karya. bikin karya kan mm-hmm. entah teaternya atau filmnya mana yeah, dulu yeah. jadi kita proses memang lanjut terus sampai okay. dini terkabar. <laughs> terus anak-anak gimana pas denger? Hi, I'm Eugene Tay. I'm the set designer of The Seen and Unseen. When we started uh, working on the show, no one really knew what the outcome was going to be. It's not like, you know, I had a really specific design in mind. I think in the end, the collaboration between the cultures and between the countries and the different teams was really wonderful because it's been a really extensive process. It's been like a year in the making. And uh, I think initially it was sort of like trying to understand how things work here and what's understanding the culture, which is really important. I kind of like sat back and sort of watched and sort of understood, asked a few, a lot of questions. It was still a really long process to design it. So in order to sort of communicate my ideas, you know, we, we spoke a lot about it, but also I made a lot of um, renders, uh, images, um, and then proposals, options of designs. And then we spoke about it, and Camilla was like, I like this, but th- this doesn't work. We realized that nature has a lot to do with where this, sh- this show comes from. So in the end, it became a really tangible and natural. It can't seem decorative. It needs to sort of be very real and for the performers to interact with the set. I'm Jenny Hector and I'm the lighting designer for The Seen and The Unseen. Um, The process has been a really interesting one because we've been asked to uh, work, um, put a contemporary take on traditional dance. That has come with many challenges but also to some really exciting discoveries. I think there's been a real openness to try and share and discover each other's potential and ways in order to make this work really exciting. And I think it's those two things coming together that gives it a special quality that we don't often get the opportunity for with other works. Well, obviously, as a theatre lighting designer, that's very different to film. In the film, you can cut the edges of the light out, but in theatre, you see everything. I think my main concept came from the nest itself, which Eugene, when he said, I think it should be made of hair, I was like, that is genius. (laughs) And um, so I've tried to make the nest powerful. So I have light coming from the nest. 
Um, obviously it's a dance piece, um, so it's important to see the bodies in particular ways. Yeah, and then it was a very initial response that I had about a horizon line and the way to delineate between the seen and the unseen. And I'm, yeah, I'm really excited with how that works. I think between the hair, which is so natural, and the horizon line, we get that juxtaposition between um, what is contemporary and what is traditional, which we're seeing in the work as well. My name's Adina Jacobs, I'm the dramaturg of The Scene and the Unseen. I mean, something I found really interesting was um, um, when I came onto this project, I hadn't seen the film yet, The Scene and the Unseen, and watched it and thought it was very, very beautiful. Um, and then chatting to Camilla, she wanted to make something that was not like the film at all, that was something very different, and that sort of went back to the, the source of the film, which is community of children, Bumi Bajra, and, um, and the kind of core myth and stories. And so, um, yeah, I think the process has been about how to tell that story in a way that's very true to its place um, and to the people who've made it, but which is also um, accessible to an international audience and which is universal. Pokoknya panggung malam ini milik kalian pasti bisa yang yang baik ya pokoknya berbahagialah di panggung ya. Itu juga nikmatin aja ya malam ini ya. Ya. You don't usually get to see um, children perform with such incredible skill. Beautiful, it's magical, it's dark. I think it's a really unique show. I have never made anything like this. I've never seen anything like this. I think the combination of all of the different artists, different art forms, uh, what it's trying to say. So you could feel people were kind of you know, entering into this world that Camilla and Dayu have created. It's unusual. I just think it's unlike anything else. I'm a 
audience last night during the show they were completely silent the entire show just watching and then at the end just you know leapt to their feet ran to the stage just stayed for hours we managed to create something very unique that we had never seen before and it's it's something new and really exciting and I think we we achieved that and it's it's wonderful and it's really evident in the show <laughs> Semua udah pada kebagian nangis di proses ini. Ya, semuanya punya cerita nangisnya sendiri-sendiri. Jadi ya sekarang udah dilaluin jadi udah udah senang-senang aja ya. Nah, yang ngerasain itu saya karena kan berada di lingkungan mereka dari kisahnya kisah-kisah hal-hal yang kanak-kanak ya sekarang obrolannya sudah beda. Berani ada. Terus dayanya pura-pura enggak tahu. Ya, ya sebenarnya yang menyenangkan memang um, karena bareng-bareng terus ya, jadi emang tumbuh bareng, semua ngerjain bareng, jadi ya udah saat ini udah bertahun-tahun kelahnya, ya jadi kayak udah keluarga satu sama lain.